sauerkraut finally decomposed. Today is the final day at the studio's current location. After today, it will move to a much better place. And there's many reasons why it's a better place. Chief among them is that it will actually be affordable. I'm sure a lot of the students will be sad, but my God, from my perspective, this is just like fantastic. I am so excited. I actually have to leave tonight. But before that, we're gonna try to move some of the stuff out. And oh, it was a good run. It's a good run in that space. It's so funny how timing just sometimes is not very good. Like sometimes things happen all at once when it would be so great if they could just happen one after another. Right as we're about to move out, I have work to do. So I have a shoot all day tomorrow. It's just not very ideal. Hoosh. Okay, just waiting on the truck. My mom's getting that right now. Man, I like fall too. I like winter a lot, but fall is also great. done all I can do for now. I need to get driving. So I'm gonna go to Brian and Andrew's house. I'm gonna spend the night there. Then I'm going to the job very early tomorrow, but it's a lot closer from there. It'll cut off like two and a half hours of my drive if I go there tonight. So I'm gonna do that. But first, I gotta try some of this chicken soup. I still haven't tried it yet. I imagine that this looks incredibly unappetizing, but I assure you, once it's heated up, it's going to be amazing. I also have a crap ton of leftover chipotle, but I think I'm just gonna eat the chips. <laughs> yes, indeed. to Brian and Andrew's house. I'm gonna spend the night there, get up really early, drive to the job, shoot the job, drive to my brother's house, test out the HTC Vive, make sure that still works. Then, next morning, I'm gonna drive back home. So, all in all, I'm in for a world of driving. I just realized that I totally missed the one year anniversary since I officially launched the vlog. 
So I started doing a daily video on April 22nd, 2015, and that was before I knew what a vlog was. A few weeks later, I saw Casey Neistat for the first time and I was like, holy crap, I wanna do a vlog. That is like my calling. And then I kept that up for a while, but I was only posting it on Facebook. You know what? Let's talk about this when I get here so I don't have to talk while I'm driving. I have arrived. I'm very happy about having arrived. So yeah, actually October 6th was the one year anniversary of the official vlog start date when I actually started posting them publicly on YouTube instead of just on Facebook for my friends. And uh, that means I have at least 365 videos or so. I think there's actually over 500 on my channel. Just a lot of them are private. Because I dropped a few F-bombs and S-bombs and other unmentionable words. Thank you for watching today's vlog. See you tomorrow. Okay, we have officially finished the final class at this studio location. I was thinking we could go around and point out stuff. This is a funny story right here. Right here, there's a chip in the mirror that these two dudes were helping us. I don't know. I can't remember now who it was. They came over. One of the dudes was clearly drunk and he almost dropped this and chipped it right there. And I immediately said, you know what guys, I don't know. We'll, we'll do this some other time. You can go home. <laughs> these ceiling fans were leftovers from Lowe's. Yeah, they were like $10 a piece at yeah. Lowe's. Those big fans were from curves down the way and they closed because- well, We got them before they closed. We, oh. when I started teaching Zumba there, I had some smaller fans in the studio. Oh we, yeah, we traded because we, we had more appropriate fans for them. For they space. had appropriate fans for us. This space was very different before. Like it used to be a bridal shop. So those mirrors on the back wall. Well, those are our mirrors. These are oh, the these were the bridal mirrors, yeah. And then those were ours. So we bought just those, but um, today we're actually taking up the floor and then the glass company is gonna move and the mirrors. back here, remember there was a water line all the way to that back room, but when they put the bathrooms in, for some reason they cut the water line over there. So we made them go back in and put it back in. No. Oh yeah, they did. Cause I thought, you know, someday we'd put a kitchen back there. <laughs> oh yes, the reality of distortion field. <laughs> <laughs> So this is funny, the, these walls we did by hand, it's like, the, all the stuff was done by hand, that's why nothing's finished. Like, if you look, most of the bathroom's done, except for this, but it, it never got finished. And then like, there's a spot back there that never got finished either. But that stuff's like, it's really toxic to work with, so it's really hard. This mirror was from a student, right? Yeah, a student gave us that. Like just this, <laughs> This is such a good move. Oh my God, man. It's like everything in here you have to do or you have to hire somebody to do. If you're renting out somebody else's building, it's their problem. Like think about that rent, electricity, heating, water, toilet paper, everything. It all adds up so quickly. And these are the <laughs> foot breakers. Oh yeah, these are the things that you were trying to hang when you fell off and broke your foot. Yeah, there's the ladder that I fell off. This room is painted like this because I was desperate, before I left the studio, I was desperately trying to get everything done so that it would actually look finished and we could move on to other stuff. And just like, it's one of those times where it was like, this is the lowest priority thing, but it was the only thing I knew how to do. <laughs> so that's what I did. Yeah, this kitchen. This thing was like from home. Like so much of the stuff in here is like somebody gave it to us or we brought it from home. That was from the old house. Yeah, it's from the old house. This was like. I traded Kenny and Joy the big black one for their garage and they gave me their little What is that? Room. I don't even know where that's from. Oh God, we've had that. That was down in the basement in the old house. Oh, right, okay. Kind of built into the wall. And then there's More oh, curtains. curtains. Actually, those are ours. We could take this. This started out as the massage room. Oh, right. So there was, a, she was a masseuse and she was also one of our students and she was going to rent this area out and do a massage. And then 
And, uh, yeah, that's it, I think. I... I don't feel a bit of, like, angst about leaving. I'm no, it's excited. just, I feel nothing but relief. I feel really happy and excited about the new place because I finally get to focus on yes. just what I want to do. No, what it's I want to so do great. is dance and help people. Like the whole point of us opening this place was that we wanted to have a place where we could dance, get people excited about exercising, and teach classes. All the stuff that surrounds that by owning your own studio is like not what we want. He can come in if he wants. Oh, come on in. <laughs> come on in. If he comes in, he's going to run around like a crazy. Oh, there's this is our last.